Hi, in this video for the TV Star TS4000 combo receiver, we're basically going to show you how you can manually tune in a UK free to air satellite channel or another name possibly for it would be how to manually tune in a transponder or to add a transponder. Okay, so to do this, simply press the menu button, arrow over here as far as channel search, and go down to satellite channel search and press OK. So, what you're looking for is a satellite called Astra 2. Okay. And it's you'll see this number here 28.2 e which means is that 28.2 degrees east okay so what you want to do at this stage is look for the go to button on your remote control after you have that highlighted and this brings you into the transponder menu for that particular satellite so you'll just have a load of transponders and settings there for that particular satellite so what we want to do at this point is simply add one which is the red button so the um <clears throat> excuse me the transponder setting will say for argument's sake we want to add is one one two six oh the symbol rate is twenty seven five oh oh and the polarity is v now i'm just picking one here at random that i've set up on the box and um, just as an example just to show you this but you know you can obtain these settings for any particular free to air channel from the likes of linksat.com or kingofsat.com things like these okay so i'm just going to press ok at this stage but before i do what i will say is i know at this point when i'm adding this transponder this is going to work because i have already deleted this transponder from the list uh, just to make this video if you were adding on a transponder and it came back and said transponder already exists all you'd have to do is hit the exit button and um, get back to the transponder list and just use the up and down arrows to find that transponder in the list there should be about a hundred that's usually what's on boxes and just scroll down till you find the number uh, and settings that uh, suit your particular needs so I'm just going to press OK and it's added it to the list and brought me straight to it. But as I say, if it came back with the thing where it said it already exists, you could just use the arrow buttons just to, you know, scroll up through it till you find the one you want. So I know in particular this one I'm looking for is 11260 v 27500 So for the example I'm showing here, I would just bring, use the arrow keys to highlight the one I want. And then simply I would just press the blue button to scan it. So what I want is I just want a default scan. I want only free to air channels and you know you can say all tv radio whatever but i'm just going to say dtv which is digital tv so i'm going to press ok now and this will be an extremely quick scan because we're only scanning one single transponder so the channel i was looking for there was ewtn so what will happen now is it'll have scanned it in and it'll have brought it to the end of my channel list and there it is there basically and that's it in a nutshell how you would um you know scan in a particular transponder or whatever at that point then it may have brought in other channels that you don't want you there's another video in the series showing you how you can delete them and within that same video there's uh, it'll show you how you can reorder your channels into the order you know that suits yourself or whatever you know so that's it basically how you can manually tune in a uk satellite channel or add a transponder on the tv star ts4000 hd receiver